Oh, hi, I'm Blitz. Welcome to my gigantic mining machine that makes me tons and tons of money. See what I'm talking about? Tons and tons of money. So much money that it doesn't even... Why are you not working? I just gotta go boop a little bit. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, now I gotta clean everything up. Why don't I just uh, do that? And then bloop. Beautiful. What a lovely day to be alive in the Blitztopian Empire. Now, I had a lot of comments in the last video about things being different, things changing slightly, and how that I need to boost every one of these with a power tank to make it all better. So that's goal number one. Goal number two is to automate a fixing factory for all of these filter things because they're really annoying to try to fix on my own, and I don't really know how I'm going to do that properly. So if I use the math unit between my ears, I'll count out that I'll need 50 three of those pressure tanks. So instead of grabbing the one that's been loaded up with nukes, I'll just take a quick trip to Walmart to buy a third one and then load it up with 53 pressure tanks. Is it bad that I've already lost count? Because I've already lost count. Okay, Google, what is 853 times 53? 853 times 53 is 45,209. Okay, that's, that's how much money we need right there. Thank you, Google. Oh, wow. Game does not like having that many pressure tanks on a cart. Oh, balls. I just lost my stuff. I guess that means I just have to recount them again. You know what? On second thought, I'll start with 20. And I'll grab a saw so I can cut up my bars a little better. Please don't glitch out of the world. Oh, it's so laggy. Thankfully, we did have $12 million left over from the last video. This entirely sucks. Hot dang, this is running is terrible with these carts. Why did 48 nukes go good in a cart, but 20 water things does not? but it makes it a lot easier down here. Oh, poop, I missed. Oh yeah, uh, thank you, Lava. I appreciate you right now. Also, you guys told me about something else, so I'm just gonna quickly press that and then grab maybe, I don't know, the red gem and then sell the red gem for $304,000. <laughs> oh, I already had money. I didn't realize I still had money in here. Oh, well. I just wanted to buy a rake. Quick, buy the rake. Thank you. I don't know what that does, but it looks like uh, some sort of candy. So I'll take it. Now, word on the street that this is the bee's knees when coming to clearing soil out. Oh yeah, and that is so much nicer. I wonder if it adds soil too. Oh yeah, this is so much nicer. This works so well, sort of. It mostly works so well. Oh wow, and that's the edge of the world, so I can't dig anymore over there. Huh. Interesting. I like it. Okay, so it kind of works weirdly. I don't fully understand it, but I'm making soil too. There's an up and a down, and if you wiggle it around, weird things happen, so go away. All right, so theoretically speaking, if I take this and replace it with this right here, everything breaks. That's fine. I don't really care if it's broken or not. And then I can move these out like such as. Then I can grab these dumb things, bring them into here, and I mean, just put them in like this sort of. I mean, I gotta get it in the right spot. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Unfortunately, there's no room to bring the cart back here, so I have to do this all manually. Cart also seems to have other ideas of what it wants to do. That's fine, I don't care. You just live your best life, buddy. You just live your best life. And then what I'll do is I'll open this up and I'll steal that out. We don't need that right now. We'll put it in here. We'll just make a giganto bar. Yeah, like that. And then we'll bring that over here like this. Cool. And then we'll make that so it should work. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split the schnozzle berries out of this. I'll just go doink. Okay, and then we get halves. And we have to keep track because we don't want one bar to be like stupidly expensive. And then we'll go boop, and then we'll go boop. And now we have, we have four that are equal size, right? And now we have eight that are equal size. That eight turns into 16 and turns into 32. And 32 turns into 64. That should be all that I really need right now. Or, you know what? I don't even care about any more than that. It's just a lot of blue shiny things. And I like blue shiny things. And then the fun part is loading all of these up again. Oh, get in the hole. Get in, just get in, get in, get in. Can you get in the hole? Thank you. Just please, thank you. Oh, this is gonna suck. But the fun thing is they're gonna be a little more powered and that's supposed to be good, I think. I don't know. It's probably just gonna do the same thing as before. If I were a pickaxe, where would I live? I don't even know anymore. Where did my stupid pickaxe go? Oh, there it is. I just gotta clear a few of these out that didn't work quite right with the rake. Hey, look at this. Big brain energy right here. If I change it, I can just have it open at the top. Look how smart I am. And then I can just drop it right in. Wow. Genius. I also can't just, like, it's unfathomable to me how much money this thing is churning out every second. I should really just test and see how much money 
I'm making an hour of doing nothing but grinding this. As soon as it's done, I might do that. Uh -huh, just tell me how. Oh, you're kidding me. Just get just put right. Just get right. Just can you can you get in? I just want in the in the right in there and just right above, right in the in that slot, right the slot that's right there. That's where I need one more, one more. Oh, I, hey, got it. Nice. That was easy. I just right in the right, just right in there. Oh, got it. Nice. <laughs> Takes so long sometimes. Cart. I thought we had this discussion already. Why, why do you do this to me? I just told you to go get me some pipes and then you just go up into space and float away. That is illegal. Come here. Just, okay, I got you. Sit. Lay down. Good boy. Who's a good cart? Here, I'll give you a shiny. You like shinies. I do too. This is mine. You can't have it. We have places to put these at. Bloop. That one right down there. Do you see it? That one was supposed to go into here, but it fell. It fell down to the bottom of the world. Oh, balls. Easy does it. Again? Really? <laughs> oh, no. So I guess I'll grab 20 more of these pressure tanks, and then I'll go back and install all of them. And uh, approximately two hours later, we have a fully powered blah, 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 powered machine. I can't words today. This took forever. And uh, you know what? It's actually working. Check out all of this stuff that's happening behind the scenes. Little bit of chicken nuggets come out on the line, and they go bump, 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 bump. But that doesn't seem like much until you turn the corner and then everything starts popping out at once. This is nice. And then the noisemakers come up here. Yeah, there's the noisemakers. I love you, noisemakers. But then when you go upstairs, you recognize that the exact same thing is happening upstairs. We're actually making double the amount of money possible and I just fell. That's sad. Okay, walk the tightrope. Everything's connected. It was a little bit difficult. I didn't, I didn't hook that one up because there was no space to hook it up. But it was a little difficult trying to get all of the um, powered things up in here. And I also did my math incorrectly. There was literally one left over. So I'm guessing there's 64 total mining rigs in there. And check how much money this makes. Like every second, just pouring in tons and tons of cash. The only flaw that we have is right over here though. This system. I totally need to redo this. So big shout out to Hybrid Steel on the old YouTubes. Made a little tutorial on how to repair everything in Hydroneer 2.0. We're gonna use that and build something up. So we'll just go over to the grocery store and pick out a couple items that probably need, oh, I could do those. Yeah, I could use this, but I'm gonna make it super easy. So I need one of these things, a logic flip hook, and then a spanner hurling kit. So I think I need five of these. And I'm gonna go with one of these doohickeys, a logic durability probe. It should say probe, it says reader. It needs to be a probe. This probe's funner to say. And then we need a reader display. And then a few of these things, a couple cables. I'm gonna make sure to grab more than I need because it's really annoying having to come back to the store every time I need to come back to the store to get something that I need. And let's be honest, if I have any extras, I can just strap them inside of a nuclear bomb and blow them all up. That's the way I make all of my problems disappear. Huh, well, there's a problem. I don't know where my money went. Where did I put my millions of monies? Hello, would you like to be a million? That's $197, that's not enough. Where did I put my million? Oh, there it is, 11 million. I forgot that's where it was. It's been a few hours. All right, 9,000 gone, don't really care. Oh, you're supposed to stay in there. Oh no. So I'll bring all of this stuff back home and hopefully this is enough to build up an automated repair station because that's the exact problem that we want to avoid, things being always broken. I'll just clear out some of the objects I don't need over here, like these iron pipes. We want to use those. All right, so we're gonna have to take this thing apart and rework it. I don't want to go that far in the cave, so that's gonna be where we start. We'll take you off, that's really loud. I also need to get the boosters on there, you guys told me, so we'll do that next. And I need five. You're gonna be up top, you two, three, four, and, well, we don't need you right now. I'm just hoping I have an extra straight pipe in here so I don't have to go back all the way to the grocery store. These are my leftover pipes. Yay, a straight one. Let's go this way. It's quicker and faster. I like the decorating I've done in here. It just smells a little bit like nukes. That's okay, though. All right, we'll flip that like such as. We have five in a row now. Beautiful. Some of you are saying, yes, you can put four on each one, but I honestly don't know how that works with uh, with these auto dealing with bobbers, so we're just going to go with it. And I don't, also don't know why I bought like 70 of these. And by 70, I mean six extras. Okay, for my first trick, we will have this target that. Is that looking at it? I think that might be looking at it. Actually, you know what? I should put this on the back side, like such as. That way it's pointed directly at the thing that looks broken. Why are you being weird? There's one more machine in here and I can't find it right now. There's too many other things. I wish I could just dump this out, but I don't know how. 
Actually, I don't, because they'd probably fly all over the world. Is that it? There it is. So if you're wondering what these machines do, it's kind of cool. Uh, there's a little hopper on it, and then you just drop those inside. How did I get that? Wait, what? where did that come from? That was weird. You're not supposed to be over here anymore. You're embarrassing me. But yeah, you take these little bags, and you take the bag, and you just go whoop right into there, and then it drops it. See, now it has seven charges. And then you do the same thing. You just go boop, and then it goes right inside, and now it has 10 charges. So for my next trick, I have to connect all of these Dewey Mahickeys together. And I hope that's set up right. Okay, and then we will put in you right about here. Okay, that should be fine. And then the display box will go right up on this one. Come on, come on, just turn, turn it, turn me right round. Turn you, okay, right, stop. But she's getting right on the thing right in the middle. Come on, man. Why are you doing this to me? Okay, just stop. There it is. Now it's backwards. Sometimes you just have to yell at it, and then it does what you... I can't even see what that says. Uh-huh. This is so frustrating. Would you just click on the thing right there? That's what my mouse is going. Not that... There we go. And that's still backwards. Okay. We're just going to turn you. <gasps> yeah, that took forever, and it sucked. Okay. Ready, get set. And... Is it pointing towards the thingy? I hope so. Okay, so if I grab this, and I go like this... Okay, and then we'll flip it up and then and then bop it and, and twist it and jive it and whatever. Okay. Aha. Oh! Wow. It says 14. It actually got a number. So if I put a basket, one of these things in the basket, ready, get set, and this one. It didn't fix it yet. Because that's the broken one. Okay, so here's the deal. I have to fix this one. Like that. Oh, and it's working. And then when this one gets down to zero, when the front one gets down to zero, every one of them is going to go. I think that's how it works. And then everything will be prepared all at once. I'm just going to need to buy a cart full of these things again. Because these uh, hoppers hold 20. So 10, that one's down to three, four. And then our shop is making so much coin. Look how much gold's coming out of this. It's incredible. Now, occasionally a piece will hit another one and fly out, but I don't really care because it's working and there's so much gold nuggets coming in here. All right, so that filter just hit 1% and as soon as that hits zero, they all should filter. They all should like repair. I don't know if it does anything cool, but once that hits zero, it should go. Is, is it gonna? Oh, there it went. Oh, they all worked. Now it's at 100% again. That's amazing. It's probably gonna waste some of these down here, but I'm cool with that. I just needed to run through the conveyor belt of death down into the tunnel, and I was gonna get my cart so I could get a, another giant bag of spanners. Did you hear my my Midwestern bag there? Yeah, we don't want to take the nuke truck. That'd be a little weird. Oh yeah, there. Get the get the tool bag up in the shop now. There, the straight up Wisconsin accent, don't you know? Also, you guys said that I should probably buy one of these intake booster. Boop. It might be kind. Of, oh, it's not expensive at all. It's only like sixty of these. She's gonna take time to put it in the crucible, melt it down, press the button, and it's like, yay, you did the thing. That's all. I made that. Wow. That's weird. Can I just drop it down the hole? Whee! <laughs> that was awesome. You know, if I was a thinking man, I would have dropped it down in the hole by the machine, not the other side. Yeah, that's beautiful. Then I can grab the Claudian bar on the way back, run up to the top of the steppity steps, click the button, hit the thingy, and go bonk. All right, so these things are supposed to go in the side here to increase the flow even more. I don't know if it works, but theoretically, that's supposed to make me the most amount of money possible. Okay, <laughs> that stuff is flying in even faster now. Those machines are working overtime. Look at all that gold flying in. So we'll just buy a buttload of tool bags. We gotta get the right cadence down so you can just press the button and let it fall. Because if you spam it too much, he starts going, ha, 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 ha. That was only 7,000. Okay, that's like 30 of them. Uh-oh, it's the wrong way. These carts are so laggy and they suck so bad. Did you like my song? Auto tune that remix, put it on Spotify. Maybe the next big artist. Oh, balls! They didn't. What? Hold on. Okay, some of them came through, but the rest. Oh, I might have ran out of money down there. I forgot to fill up the money coffer. Whoops. I don't really care. I like how I have a dedicated disposal area. Like, I literally don't need these things anymore. So, you know what we do? We just grab one of these, we throw it over here, turn it around. I don't have any buttons. And we'll fill this thing up all the way. Then we'll park the repair wagon in a close, convenient location. Why are you levitating again? Like, <laughs> for real this time. 
Why do you think it's fun to fly into space? I didn't tell you you could do that. It's what happens when your wagons come of age. They just want to fly off on their own. I think they're young, strong, independent, young creators or whatever. Oh, and I can't put a thingy. I don't care. Maybe I can. Can I just twist it and bop it? Sure, that works. Whatever. I don't need this anymore. It's really weird because I still had money. And quite a bit of it. So I'll run to the grocery store for the 15th time this episode, place that down, buy $84 worth of garbage, which is like a pound of strawberries now, evidently. Like hot dang groceries are expensive. I just like keeping a nice, clean, tidy shop around these parts. Don't want any workplace accidents, if you know what I mean. Just clean up all the garbage. Wait, what? Why didn't this stuff break? It's so annoying. Oh well, I guess it wasn't low enough. Uh, well, we're not doing that again because that took forever. But I did want to know how much like a single bar of this stuff costs. Not a single bar, like maybe I can craft a sword. We'll make an S word. How is this doing, by the way? Oh, this is so cool. What a great idea. You guys are awesome for giving that idea. All right, S word, let's make you. Okay, we'll bring this over here, throw you in the old hot fire. Now we need to click through this because I think S word is the best item. Yeah, S word. And then if I grab that when it's steaming hot, like a fajita at a Mexican restaurant. And we'll grab that and go, BONK! <laughs> I just made an S word. Swing, swing, swing! You have to make that sound when you make S words. I'm also curious how much like a necklace would cost with the onyx gem. Cause that, that gold or that red gem was something crazy like, what, 104,000 earlier in the episode? I'm just gonna throw these on the conveyor belt, take them up. I don't need to carry you. I'm gonna make a giant S word. Whee! Okay, now if we compress this, thank you. Compressing. Oh, froze the game. <laughs> Must be a lot of stuff in there. Oh, okay, thank you. Okay, we'll grab the onyx, put you way back on the butt. I don't know, it's probably not what that part is called. Okay, and then yeah, two gold bars and one jemmy boy. I don't think this is gonna be too expensive, but there's been a lot of gold flying in and it's been like, I don't know, close to two and a half hours of this episode that this has been making money, but I did have it stop for a while. So let's just grab that bar. We're gonna make it nice and toasty, roasty warm like a s'more on a campfire. And then we'll split it in half with the old machiner and then go bark. <laughs> Onyx necklace. That's gonna be big stonks right there. I almost want to see just how much like the green gem in here is. Like if I take the green gem to the green gem store. And I've been seeing the comments that someone wants me to make a billion dollar boot. I hate the idea, but I love it too. I don't know if the numbers can go up to a billion in this game either. All right, glorious green gem of beauty. Tell me your net worth. 96%. <laughs> 190,000, it's incredible. There's a bunch of gems just laying on the ground here too. All right, truck, where are you? Recall you, unstuck me, get in the truck, drive. Okay, giant S word going on in, nice. And the necklace, should I clean up these? Oh yeah, and the money, forgot about that. Whoop. Okay, if I remember correctly, which I probably don't, drive, oh, drive, drive, driving, fine. Just embarrass me again. We'll take the sword and we'll take it here. I think this is the sword store. Can we make a million dollar sword? Oh, if it is, yes. Yes, 101%. <laughs> I think that's uh, that's a large number. How many numbers? That's $3.5 million sword. <laughs> just wish I could get out and push or, you know, just tear down the sign that I'm stuck on because that's stupid. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty excited, but my hopes aren't very high because we did just make a $12 million gold bar in the last video. This is the right place, right? Yeah, just a generic jeweler. All right, don't go anywhere, Mr. Truck. Actually, let's grab these things because the truck is doing things that trucks normally shouldn't do. Why are you going? Why are you doing this to me? I hope it flies away, just like yeets itself into space. Or, <laughs> hello? Landslide, why are you doing, why, why does this constantly happen to me? All right, all right, ready? I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited, right? Yeah! <laughs> I think that's 2.4 million? Uh, yeah, 2.4 million. <laughs> yes! How much money did we make today? Oh, we made like another, another $6 million. I did spend quite a bit making that machine go together nicely, but 
Having a two and a half million dollar sword is a pretty good accomplishment. Anyway, my friends, that'll do it for today's video of Hydraneer. Hope you enjoyed. Bye! And I'd like to thank all of the patrons and YouTube members, including Auto Dave, Beaninator, Ben, Dicky James, Moonstorm, Teddy Hippius, Eagle Arc, Destructo Man, Maxor, Spencer T, VC Engineer, Whip It Good, Baron, Fox, Zarnoff, Deegan, Jason L, Rail, Whiskey, Splatter Sacks, Joe B, Doug Rules 2.0, Fury Arrow, Nerdy Geeks, Skunk Chest, the Corian, Link Hewitt, Brad, Elwisk, Rob the King, KDF, Dalton C, Blair B, Psycho T, Hermora, MRM Gaming, Terrarian Gamer, and Raphael P.